Hello. We're filming an apartment tour. There's a million things I would do differently. That's always the case. But also, you never really always settle in. We've also only been here a year. I'll be moving into my own place at some point soon once I find an apartment. So come with me and we'll take a look. This is my childhood kitchen table. I sanded and stained it with my mom before I moved out here. So it's a nice like darker kind of purpley red color, which is nice. And there's cute little memories to it since I, this is like literally the table I grew up like eating at. And then I also have these awesome chairs that I love. And these are from the High Point Market in North Carolina, which is like a designer exclusive kind of market. But I ended up buying them from this designer of a church nearby and she got like 24 of them they were each initially 180 dollars and they're like hand welded which you can tell they're super cool but she brought them to the church and they did not like them so she was getting rid of them so i got each of these for 40 dollars so i got all of them for 120 sorry that's a lot 160 total and then this is also lovely and important to me this painting meredith did she hated it for whatever reason but i was like can i have it because i was like i love it and i feel like it's cute in the kitchen so i have that there have my little vintage set of silver coasters that i love we have one of those classic la weird like walkways here but i have these linen striped curtains here that like tie at the top which i think is really cute and i love for a kitchen they're a little bit see-through but it's okay anyways i like those and then we have just little hooks here there's a lot of just like logistics things i feel like in the kitchen but i'll show you a little bit just to see what we've we've done with it this is on the left like a beautiful pottery piece that william's dad made that i still have which i love and then i have my cute little bowls for stuff i have these little cabbage bowls which i literally love this is my one of my favorite things ever i think it's probably bok choy and then i also have a little strawberry one that i put red pepper flakes in and then obviously i have my coffee out and we just have glass bottles and stuff for oil and vinegar we really didn't do much with the space in here we have this nice little shelf that's built in so we just have like some spices and like herb things i have my like little ceramic pour over thing and we have a duo sink which is nice because then you can do a dish rack like this we do have a dishwasher that actually works really well which i think is always the risk with like renting apartments when you get be like, yeah, I have a dishwasher, and then you have to like basically wash them before you put them in. This one is actually really good, which is nice. But have this just for like pans and knives and stuff, which is nice to be able to have like a dedicated thing that stays out and doesn't take up more counter space. Um, I have this little clock that is wrong here, and then we just have this like little industrial lamp in here that like clamps onto the side. I feel like the lighting in here is hard because there's a ceiling fan over the table, so we never ended up doing like a hanging light. We totally could have in here but just didn't and then i so stand by putting soap and like dish soap in um like glass bottles i think it makes a huge difference and it's nice and easy to pump okay moving on to the living room i have a little lantern here which was hanging a little bit lower but either way i think that's a great way to like tie in a space i think it also takes away some attention from the popcorn ceilings which obviously we don't like and i feel like this room is actually a lot larger than we anticipated she had a sectional from her old apartment i had this little west elm couch that i had which is like not an awesome couch if that's the only couch you have but we honestly have enough room to have like two little seating areas so we ended up doing that so i have a little west elm couch and a little pink chair that i got from facebook marketplace and we just have some plants around we have little christmas lights that we put up for christmas and just have left because they're they are like a nice little cozy light and then I have some art around that I like and just some little lights and lamps that I think warm up the space and like add a little bit more character. I think the tough thing with like kind of like gray floors and like popcorn ceilings, it's like a very cool toned space. And so I think adding in wood and like older pieces helps a lot with that. I still think we could have done a lot more. And then I have this big bookshelf that I actually found on the street for free. I think it's literally just like a Target one, but it allowed us to fill up that wall a little bit more and add a bunch of books and things, which I think warms up a space so much. And then one of my favorite things in this apartment is this TV stand right here. I got it on Facebook Marketplace for $40. It's a nice like six foot solid oak, kind of mid-century like piece. It is so heavy, we ended up paying $30 for movers that we just happened to have on our street when we were taking it out because it was so fucking heavy We could not get it up the stairs. I could get it in my car with this man fine enough 
But so total we ended up spending $70. I'll obviously have to get like a mover to move it because the drawers didn't come out very easily and it was just like this whole thing. But I love this piece and I'm hoping that I have enough room for it in whatever place I'm in next. Okay, next we get into my bathroom, which is actually one of my favorite things about this apartment. Um, this is in like a little bit of an older building, but it's a new renovation. We're the first people to be in here since it's been renovated, which means that we have things that we don't love. Like once again, it's very like cool toned, the ground, the floor is not like real hardwood, things like that that are not awesome, but it is really nice to have a brand new bathtub that's like big and feels really clean. I've never been in an apartment that has a bathtub that feels relatively clean, which I have never, I've always lived in older apartments, which, you know, just don't ever feel that clean. Um, and so I love, love my bathroom and I love my little window and my little view. It just feels really nice and it's been one of my favorite parts about this part. Okay, so if you've seen any of my previous apartments, you will recognize the shower curtain and the little rug in here. These are my, this is my like childhood shower curtain and rug, like truly in my house growing up the bathroom that my family had, we had this shower curtain in. Uh, and I think it's like literally Pottery Barn Kids. So I have a good bit of counter space, which is nice. I love having a surface to like put makeup on or things like that. I've always struggled in bathrooms that are just like pretty narrow like this. Also the sink is nice and big. Um, I also have my soap in one of these little conta er, containers, um, bottles in here. This is a little ceramics cup. That ceramic cup that came from an artist in Asheville, North Carolina. And then I got this at the Long Beach Flea, which I love. It's a nice like iron shell dish. Some candles on the back of my toilet and then a little hook for like ribbons and necklaces and things. And then I have this shelf up here that always is a little bit chaotic. It's things that I like use often that I don't want to have to go dig for. I have this Monstera propagation in here right now, which is pretty new, but I actually really like having a little greenery in here. Um, that plus some eucalyptus here, which I always normally keep. And then I have a little shelf with a little bathtub for my soap. It's my nice big bathtub that I love. <laughs> um, and here's my shower curtain. I just think it's always feels sweet and like fun. It's pouring today, but this is my awesome little view. And I just love, I mean, it's the same as like my bedroom, but I think from, from down here, I think it's sweet that you get a little, get a little palm trees up there. And I love my bedroom. It's kind of massive, but in the most spacious bedroom I have almost, I think I've ever had. Both me and my roommate's rooms are really big. Hers is actually even bigger. And I get really nice light in here during the day. Once again, it's rainy right now. But the living room and kitchen are a bit darker. Getting lovely sunlight in here. And I just have all my favorite things in this room. And therefore, it feels awesome and lovely. I think over here, I have my rug that I got just from Etsy, which I really love it. It's not like a comfortable rug, but it... I think I really just like the way it looks um, and it's nice to ease you to like shake out and everything like that. And then I think these side tables are West Elm, but I got them from my dad's girlfriend. She was getting rid of them. So they're nice, like light purple acrylic and I literally love them. There's another one on the other side that I'll show you, but they're nice and nesting. And I have this framed photograph of Arena by a girl that we went to school with named Hannah Baines. And I, it's literally one of my favorite things ever. I'm so happy that that is in my home. And so I have just a tiny little thing, like a little framed piece hanging next to it as well. My Ikea lamp, and then this is a little vintage duck box that I got from, that was my grandfather's, and then a little ceramic dish that I made at one point. I also keep my cowboy boots out because I think they're kind of cute. Um, and I have a little heart horseshoe on the left that I got at an antique mall at home. As for my bed above it, which is, I know is off-centered right now, I've ended up shifting my bed a little bit to the left, but it's fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit, is that weird? This I got from a yard sale for $10. He said, this man said his grandmother made it, and I was like, bold to get rid of, but also I respect it. Um, and I love it, I just hung it. I ended up punching two holes in the cardboard, not like cardboard, but it's a kind of a wooden-ish back, and I ended up punching holes in it and hanging it by ribbon, which I like. And then I also got this little, sconce at an antique mall in North Carolina as well. And I think that that, things like that are really nice in a more modern looking space, I think, because it like makes it feel a little bit more vintage. There's a little bit more character to things. I have my cowboy hat hanging up and I have this piece here, which you may have seen in like previous video. Also another thing that I'm like, I really hope I can keep in my next apartment. If not, I will struggle to part with it because I just think the like wood detailing is really nice. So I got this for like $50 at an antique store in North Carolina as well. 
and then I have my desk, which is a pretty like recent development. I had a cute little like vintage green, almost like children's vanity, I'll insert a picture of, and I loved it. I loved the way it looked. I loved the color in here, but it was just not functional. And I was like, I, I don't work from home often, but when I do, it's nice to have a space to sit. And also I'm like, I'm a girl that likes to craft. I like to sit at a surface and especially when the common space and like is shared, I'm like, I like the being in the privacy of my room. And so I wanted, like a good workspace in my room and I ended up getting just a piece of plywood that I got cut so I actually have extra plywood, 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 I have extra plywood from this which is nice and then I have just two Ikea file cabinets which I think at some point I might paint but also that's kind of a daunting thing it's one of those things where I was like yeah I justified it because I was like I don't like the white I'll paint them like a dark yellow or something we'll see if that ever happens um, but this is actually been my favorite thing ever. I love having a big workspace that has a lot of depth, has a lot of width. My legs can move around. I can leave projects out. It has been like kind of game changer for creativity. Um, and so I feel very, very happy with this. And I have a lot of nonsense. I think this is like the messiest part of my room, no doubt. I have my sewing machine. I have my um, weed set up. <laughs> and then I have this lamp, which I get, I think I get questions on all the time. But it is literally an antique that like my grandfather found at some point so it's truly just been in my family for a while which i feel like always disappoints people but it is gorgeous and i'm lucky to have it in my space i also forgot to mention the blanket on the end of my bed which has been a pretty consistent thing for a while is from i think it's things i've loved i can link the instagram but i i literally love it i think it always like ties my bed together and i can almost like do whatever i want with it and i feel like it it looks awesome and then in this corner over here I just have more books and some plants and some other little art hung up. The cyanotype on the right who also uh, share that artist. I really am happy with having that there. And then I like have my air purifier in the corner. Okay, I think this is the last thing to share with you guys. But I have this like waterfall like art deco week on a dresser. Um, it's a little bit janky and like it like gives a little you know but i got it for i think a hundred dollars off of facebook marketplace i'm very happy with it another thing that i would love to keep in my new place if i can place it but once again i love like an old wood piece and i recently got this pot for very cheap and planted this plant in it which i'm really happy with i love that pot and then i have some of my nicer art books most that i've gotten through work um and i love those and then i have this old photograph of my great grandfather i think wrestling someone and i have it just in a little frame which i love and then this little bodice is also one of my little favorite things ever my grandma made that 